This is Chicago Military Academy at Bronzeville, and we're doing the News Literacy Project for Division 8403. Hey. I approve this message. You deserve a senator who will tell the truth. But Alexi doesn't. He told newspapers he was gone when Broadway loaned millions to convicted felon Tony Resco. But Alexi told the IRS he was there to take a $2.7 million tax write-off. The truth? Alexi's bank failure cost millions. Bright Star cost millions more. Now Alexi promises higher taxes and more spending. Alexi's truth hurts your wallet. The Hill commercial is about Mark Kirk focusing on Alexi, Genu Alexi Genuilius. We're looking at the facts, the opinions, the bias, and emotional impact. Does anyone have a fact on the political commercial? Um, one fact is that Alexi Genuilius' <laughs> company, Bright Star, had lost millions of dollars. Another fact was that Mark Kirk claimed that Alexis Genuilius got a big uh, tax write off. Another fact is you learned you loaned the money to a convicted felon. An opinion. Does anyone have an evidence of the opinion? The opinion is that Alexis Genuilius hurts your wallet. Another opinion is that he's not financially responsible with money. And bias. Does anyone have an say in a while? The bias says that it's paid by Mark Kirk. An emotional impact. Um, Alexi Lily is, is financially irresponsible. Shame on Bill Brady. I am a Republican, but I don't support him for the mass euthanization of animals. I'm a pretty staunch Republican. I will not be voting for Bill Brady. That's sick and wrong. I cannot go with my party on that issue. One. We are looking at an ad about Pat Quinn focusing on Bill Brady. We are looking at the facts, the opinion, bias, and emotional impact. Does anyone have a fact on the... Well, one of the facts was that he passed a bill um, for killing animals. Does anyone have evidence of opinion? The opinion was that they're not going to vote for him because they feel him passing or supporting a bill like that was just wrong. Does anyone have a bias? The bias is that this ad was paid for people who support Pat Quinn. And does anyone have emotional impact? The emotional impact is that people are not going to support him because he is, is killing animals and they love their animals. 1745. That's the number of hardened criminals secretly released early from prison onto our streets by Pat Quinn. Domestic abusers, sex offenders, gang members. Since being released by Quinn, many have been charged with new crimes. Domestic battery, assault on a young woman, mob action, murder. Times are tough, but Pat Quinn's jeopardized our safety and made life tougher. We have had enough. Okay, we are looking at a commercial about Bill Betty focusing on Pat Quinn. We are looking at the facts, the opinion, bias, and emotional impact. Does anyone have a fact on a, a commercial? I do. The fact is that he released 1,745 prisoners into the streets early. And most of the criminals that Pat Quinn released were charged with new crimes. And opinion. Does anyone have an opinion on the commercial? The opinion is that he made life tough for his citizens. Anyone else? Bias. Okay, bias. Does anyone have a bias on this? Well, the bias was that it was paid for by citizens of Bill Brady. And emotional impact. The emotional impact is people are scared for their safety now since the prisoners were released. Final comments of the polit political commercials that we watched. Does anyone have a final comment? Uh, they try to get you on an emotional level because they feel that if they get you on an emotional level that you want both the, the candidate and they'll have a better chance at winning. Anyone else have a final comment? I think they agree. These candidates are taking low blows at each other. It makes voters undecided. 
Well, I think they try to pick sides to get the viewers to vote for them. So thank you for watching the class discussion on political commercials. Hi.